Everybody was kung fu fighting. Hi, I'm Emily Cutler, and this is our government project. I'm Anita Almendarez, and we'll be doing this project over colonial cooking. Hi, I'm Alex Parker. <laughs> We're doing four different recipes. I'm Dara Beach, and I'm a princess. Build by the science guy. Build, 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 Today is Colonial Hot Cider Punch. Colonists usually drink this beverage with their breakfast. They didn't drink much water because they thought it'd make you sick, but they did drink a lot of beer. In order to make this drink, you need a gallon of heated apple cider. You need um, a half ounce of brandy flavoring. It's not real, so. And then we need a half ounce of rum flavoring. Or you could put real rum if you're going to. So. And we need three sticks of cinnamon. And I will open this. We have three of these. And then we need three to six whole oranges. I got four right here. And then I need a small bag of whole cloves. This is in a bag, but it has cloves in it. The first thing you do is you put cider in the bowl, which I already have. And then you're gonna add a half ounce of brandy. And then you're gonna put a half ounce of rum. Flavoring. Run flavoring. And then we're gonna put three sticks of cinnamon in the mixture. One that looks kind of like this. And use some rinse until they melt, but you don't cook it. Because that would be bad. Did you know that? Colonial families save big bean night for Sundays. Now you know. So after you had it cooled down and pour it in a punch bowl and everything. You take these cloves and you stick them on an orange all over, or you can do this. And then you take all of them and you put them in a pan with a half inch of water in it. So you just set it down like that. And you can have the other ones in there, like this. And then you put them in the oven at 350 degrees for 45 minutes. all that water. <laughs> Once you have it cooked for 45 minutes, you put the oranges in the punch bowl with your mixture, and that's it. The next thing we're going to tell you about is how to make colonial bread. Back in the 1700s, uh, the women would set aside one day of the week to make bread for the whole week, and the colonists had to make their own yeast too, and their flour. And Fortunately, we can go to the grocery store and buy all this stuff, so... For the ingredients to make this bread, you need two packages of dry yeast, a half cup of cornmeal, uh, two cups of boiling water, uh, three-fourths cups of whole wheat flour, four and a half cups of bread flour, uh, you need brown sugar, a, three, a third of a cup of that, and then a fourth of a cup of vegetable oil, and then you need a half a cup of rye, and you need a tablespoon of salt and warm water to dissolve the yeast. So the first step for making the bread is first you want to dissolve the yeast in warm water. And then let that go for a little bit so it'll, it'll be set to rise in the bread. And you combine the sugar, the brown sugar, the salt, the vegetable oil and boiling water in a bowl and then you add the dissolved yeast into the bowl and mix it with the three flowers that I already oh, have no, set no. in the bowl. So good. Did you know that? Ouch. Some colonists thought that tomatoes were poisonous. Now you know. Once the flour is stiff, you want 
to put it on a flour board and knead it for 8 to 10 minutes. And then you want to put it into a greased bowl and cover it with a towel and let it rise until it doubles in size. Once the dough rises, you want to punch it down and put it into two separate bed, bread pans and let it rise for another 8 to 10 minutes. Then you bake the dough at 375 for 45 minutes and you take them out of the oven and you immediately place them onto a wire rack to cool. Hi, the next thing we'll show you how to make is English stew. This meal was usually eaten dur during the warmer temperatures because during um, the winter colonists usually fished as their main source of food. Also, English stew is made with beef and is almost the same as Irish stew except Irish stew was made with mutton instead. But anyway, for English stew you will need two pounds of top round beef, one large onion slice or two small ones, two Tablespoon, two teaspoons of salt, one eighth teaspoon of pepper, two diced carrots, four potatoes, pared and sliced, and four tablespoons of flour. Did you know that?